name is Steve Michael. The year is 2056. I live at 1209 Independence Road with my wife Brenda. I live in central Kentucky. Crime has gone up more than 90% in the last 30 years. Maniacs fill the streets with no thought of any kind of consequence. The government as we knew it is gone. Abolished, banished, dead. Laws, they don't even exist anymore. Gangs run through the United States of America, doing whatever they please, with no regrets. We can't leave our house without being armed. Going and getting food to provide for me and my wife is a risk. Surviving in a world of crime is difficult. Steve? What is it? We're running dangerously low on food. I know, we have been for days. Sarah next door said there's somebody down the street with a lot of food who's willing to trade. We can't just trust anybody. We'll starve anyway if we don't get some food. What do you think we'll trade with them? The gun? The only way of protecting ourselves? We need food. The last time we had close to a full cabinet was when your brother was here. Well, he's not here with us anymore, okay? Steve, we're down to one bite a day. If we don't do something, we're gonna die anyway. Well, fine. Do you want me to go? Of course I don't want you to, but we need food. All right, I'll trade him the gun. I guess a full load of food. Please be careful. Where exactly is this place? Sarah said the house number was 1219. That's only a few doors down. I'll be back. Hurry back, it's getting late. I love you. Who are you? My name is Steve. What do you want? I heard you have food. Lots of it. Are you alone? Yes, just me. Alright, Steve. You, uh, you, you got a gun on you? Yes. But it is my trade to you. For food. That's hot. Z19 Type 22, rather common weapon. I have to say, it's not going to get you much. Maybe a bag of chips or a half-eaten box of Lucky Charms with all the marshmallows taken out. Your choice. That gun is all I have. Me and my wife are very desperate. Can't you do a little more? Now, Stevie, my friend, I hate to break it to you. The world's ending, man. And the only way you're going to get around is if you have a variety of skills. You're clever and you're strong, okay? You. Remind me of me when I was a lot younger when this all started, man. See, I was I was weak and I was spineless and I wasn't very clever. But I'm not now. I am clever. What? Where am I? Who are you people? Is this some kind of joke? I'm Atticus. And this is my group. You guys kill people? Oh gosh no, we're much better than that. 
Why do you have me duct taped to this chair? What? Me and my friends, we just want to talk to you. Can you can you tell me your name? Steve. And where do you live, Steve? Why would I tell you that? Why wouldn't you tell me? I'm not telling you anything. Independence Road. What was that? 1219 Independence Road. There. Uh, was that so hard? You got a family, Steve? A wife. Any kids? No. Now tell me, what's your wife like? Is she pretty? Leave my wife out of this. We haven't done anything to you. I'm not gonna be part of your sick plan. Ah. That's a shame. If you're gonna kill me, kill me. Just me. Don't lay a finger on my wife. Steve, I already told you. None of us here are going to kill you or your wife, okay? Swear? I swear. But that's not going to stop us from making you kill your wife. Wait, what? What is that supposed to mean? You heard me. You're going to kill your wife. We'll give you a gun, a mask, and boom. One shot to the head. I'm not doing that, you sick freak. Oh, come on. Is this some kind of game? No game. We just simply want you to kill your wife. You're demented. And you're weak. 90% of the people in the world now hide in their homes and they're scared with their families and they're just scared. They're weak. You're weak. But this can prove that you're strong. The other 10% of the people in the world are having fun and they're ruling the world and that's us. Our whole operation, Steve, is about making family members kill other family members. Once I get out, I'm killing you. You don't have the stomach for it, Steve. I know you're kind. Listen to me, Steve. If you don't kill your wife, me and my whole team, we're gonna kill the both of you. We're gonna torture you, we're gonna starve you. It'd be a lot more simple to just put a bullet in her head and you can live. I'll do it. Good. Brenda! Brenda, what are you doing? I got you too. Listen, we don't have to do this. I don't have a choice. But Brenda, that's exactly what you have, is choice. You can either choose to be afraid and scared of the people around you, or you can try to survive and get a way out of it. I don't want to live in fear anymore. you did to my face. There's more important matters than that. We could work together before we all get killed. It's too late for that, Steve. Tell me, where's your wife? Atticus! I found him! Good! You think you can lie to me and give me the wrong address? I bet you didn't even kill your wife, did you? Where is your wife, Steve? Where is she? Right here, freak. There she is. Stand up. 
You don't have to shoot me, Brenda. Like I said, living in a world of crime is difficult, but that's the way the world's always been, hasn't it?